Hello students, in today's class, we are going to learn about 16S rRNA gene sequencing as a method in molecular taxonomy. So 16S rRNA is an important component of the 30S ribosomal subunit of the prokaryotic ribosomes. And 16S rRNA gene sequencing is an important technique that is used for identification of unknown organisms. So within the 16S rRNA gene sequences, there are some regions which are highly conserved among different bacterial 16S rRNA gene sequences. And these regions are used to design primers. These primers are known as universal primers as they can be used for amplification of a 16S rRNA gene sequence of any bacterial species. So here, based on uh, the similarity of uh, these regions, conserved regions, these are uh, the list of universal primers that have been designed and that can be used for amplification of 16S rRNA gene sequence of your unknown bacteria. Uh, 27F and 16 and 1492R are the most commonly used uh, primer pairs for amplification of a gene product, 16S rRNA gene product of 1465 base pairs. Also, in addition to these conserved regions that are used for designing the primers, there are uh, certain regions within the 16S rRNA uh, gene sequence, which are highly variable among different bacterial genus and species. In fact, uh, these can be regions that provide species specific uh, signature sequence that can be useful for identification of the unknown bacteria. This slide discusses about the methodology of uh, analysis by 16S rRNA gene sequencing. So first you need to uh, harvest, grow and harvest the cells and isolate the total genomic DNA of the organism and then perform a PCR reaction to amplify the 16S rRNA gene sequence using suitable gene pair. Uh, once amplified, we need to run the PCR fragment on the gel to ensure that the correct size fragment has been amplified. After that, uh, we need to outsource our amplified PCR fragment along with the uh, primers for sequencing. So uh, the results of the sequencing provides us the uh, gene sequence as well as a chromatogram that you can see over here. And uh, this tells you what is the quality of uh, the peaks or uh, how the sequencing has taken place. So if you have very sharp peaks, then uh, that ensures that the sequencing quality is good. Uh, once you have the sequence, you need to perform a sequence analysis, which is uh, basically through plus search analysis that will uh, so you need to use the NCBI BLAST program for this, and uh, that will give you a hit on what is the closest similarity uh, to your unknown 16S rRNA gene sequence. You can also use uh, these 16S rRNA gene sequences from different organisms uh, and uh, generate a phylogenetic tree that will help you understand what is the relationship of your uh, amplified gene sequences with uh, other organisms. So the same methods uh, that we had just discussed is uh, uh, present on the methodology slide here. And uh, I would also like to demonstrate uh, how do we actually do the sequencing with the, uh, how do we analyze the gene sequence with uh, one example. So this is, uh, one of my sequencing results, which I'm sharing with you. So here you can see uh, this initial region, the peaks are not very sharp. Uh, so this region is not suitable for analysis after sequencing, but the rest of the region, you can see the peaks are very sharp, nice and sharp. And you have a single peak at one particular location. If you have more than one peak at one particular location, then that would mean that you are having signal for uh, two different bases, okay? So this region looks good. 
So once we have analyzed the chromatogram, we can select the uh, sequence, which is shared in the text file. So for analysis, we need to copy the gene sequence and use the BLAST search analysis tool. So just type uh, BLAST. and click on the link, choose the nucleotide blast since we are analyzing the nucleotide sequence. Put the uh, symbol and paste the sequence. The database that is already selected as a default is the NR database. So we just need to click on the blast tab Wait for the results to show up. Sitting a little longer. Okay. Yes, the results have shown up. And as you can see, um, my 16S rRNA gene sequence is showing uh, similarity with Privotella strains and a number of Privotella bouquet strains are showing a match with my 16S rRNA uh, gene sequence from my unknown organism. So with this, I can conclude that my uh, isolate or my organism is a species of Privotella, most probably Privotella bouquet strain. So that's it about it. Uh, kindly like, share and subscribe if you like the contents. Thank you.